down here in the K-Wings locker room with head coach Nick Butlin. Coach, uh, with the win tonight, you guys punch your playoff ticket. You're locked into that third seeded position and you'll play the Fort Wayne Comets uh, in the first round. Got to feel good to finally get that uh, out of the way and, and finish up these last two games in the regular season. Yeah, we're striving for that position. You know, for a while now we've been uh, we've been battling and uh, trying to find our game and trying to find our consistency. To and we wanted to be that third seed. And, um, you know, we weren't gunning for either team, either Fort Wayne or Toledo. Uh, we just wanted to get in and be the best seed possible um, down the stretch. And we found a way. It took a little longer than we were hoping um, as a hockey team and as a coaching staff. Um, but uh, we're excited with the win here tonight. Looking at the, the playoff matchup now with Fort Wayne, obviously 15 times you played them in the regular season, uh, tonight being the last one. You guys get a little bit chippy, obviously the rivalry and everything should be a good playoff matchup for, for fans and for both teams. Well, we know that they're an explosive team, and we know that uh, you have to make sure that you manage the puck against them, and you know that they're deep. You know, they have a ton of depth up front. they got three lines who can score goals. Uh, they got a great defense score. they got a great goaltender. Um, so look at, you don't go through the season like they have and lose, what, 18 games all year or whatever it is that they've lost um, without being a good team. You know, they're, they're prepared as uh, a group, um, just as prepared as any other team that we've played this year. Looking at the game tonight, Dane Fox goes off for a hat trick. Joel Martin, 35 save shutout. A lot of guys you could uh, point to that, that really chipped in tonight. What, what did you see from your team? Well, we got a little bit from everyone. You know, those are the guys that obviously stood out, and we're the type of team that we need all cylinders going. We need all our players going um, to be a competitive team, to win hockey games. We need everybody. And, you know, you look at Kovacs, who, you know, played minimally, but gets a, you know, has first shift again, you know, creates some space and then makes a nice pass, who ends up getting an assist. And then, you know, you look at Dane Fox, who's rewarded for going to the net hard. You look at Joel Martin, who continues to be uh, outstanding for us, uh, game in and game out, and you know that's what that's that's what we need. We need those guys to do that. We need scoring for every line. You know, Borbeau's line scores. Um, every line scored a goal tonight. So um, when you have that going, and you have all those guys going, uh, it makes things a little bit easier. Finally, looking back at the season as as a whole, uh, some tumultuous times for you guys. It's been up and down. Come January, you guys seem to flip a switch and, and really turn it on to, to get you into this position. Just speak about how you feel overall about this team and, and your emotions overall about getting into the playoffs. Well, this team at times has been really frustrating, to be honest. Uh, they, they've been a team with, uh, you know, there's so much there. And, and when we play our best, we really show it. But when we don't play our best, Oh my goodness, have we been uh, we've been pretty bad at times too. So you know we went through some ups and downs. We went through the longest, toughest stretch of my coaching and playing career uh, early on in November, where we went nine games and we had one point earned. Uh, I've never gone through that. It was a numbing experience for our whole group, and something that I don't want to go through again. That's for sure. But I feel that we've we've been sort of had our adversity you know we're as healthy as we've ever been knock on wood at this point um, of the season um, leading into you know obviously two more games in the regular season and then the playoffs so um, you know that's like a nice feeling so you know we've had some pretty key players out of the lineup we still have some guys that won't be on our playoff roster like an Isaac McLeod who, you know ACL surgery and he's done for the season Curtis Volk who's obviously a guy who certainly would have been up for rookie of the year and maybe even MVP the way the kid was playing um, for our hockey team when he went down so you know we've gone through a lot as a hockey team you know you lose Eric Kettles for seven weeks you lose Broomstrand early on for four weeks with a shoulder so we've had some key guys that have been out of the lineup and I feel that we're pretty battle tested at this point. Next time the K-Wings play is tomorrow night right here at Wings Event Center against Toledo we'll talk to you then. Thanks. Thanks coach.